everybody, Zeke here, and it is the day before Halloween of 2017, so that would be October 30th, and here in Tennessee it is friggin' cold. Yeah, unusually cold for late October. That's why I'm all Carhartted out. This stuff is warm. And another reason I love Carhartt is because they have stuff for gigantic, ginormous, long freakishly armed people. Thank you, Carhartt, for considering that we actually exist. For some reason, like clothing designers and clothing stores make clothes for tall people as if you were as big around as this mechanical pencil. But if you have a larger waist, I'll just go ahead and say it, I got a 38 to 40 waist, they think you're short and this big around. Tall people have bigger waists. Especially if you got a little extra weight on you. But there's a few companies that do, you know, have good size stuff for big guys. Carhartt's one of them. I hate to admit it because I used to hate this store. I always thought it was so trendy. But Buckle Jeans, they make jeans that fit for, you know, my size. It's about the only place I can get them. And I also go broke when I buy one pair. <laughs> Today I'm going to do a review on my Butts Choquin. Choquin? Choquin? Chocqua? I don't know how you say it. I know it's French. Butts Choquin, I'm just going to say BC from here on out. It's the BC Reggie. Uh, and then it says 9 filter on it, or filter 9. I don't use the filter. I just kind of take it out and chunk it. Don't forget, when you take the stem off a pipe, always twist it to the right same way. There is the filter. It's got little holes. Kind of reminds me of that old toy that like you turned upside down and go... Mrrr. Okay, I'm old. Chunk the filter, put that back in, and that's how I roll with it. I forget the filter. So like I've done with other pipes that I've reviewed, first thing first, before I even light it up, see how it draws very lightly. So first time, I'm barely drawing through and it's coming through crystal clear. It's not audio, is it? coming through very smooth and it seems to be getting a lot of airflow with without drawing too hard which I like I really like the shape it's not your typical round I'll show it in a in the video if I can find my friggin boom okay so ignore my messy desk if you see it I'll be smoking a little cult blood red moon out of this uh, but you see it's not your typical round shape. It's kind of like an oblong oval. It's really cool. I, I like, it's kind of like a sleek Ferrari. Well, French Ferrari. Do French make a car? Anyways, good looking pipe. Has a little BC stamp there. It says Butts Choquin. Butts Choquin. Butts Choquin. I don't know. Reggie. And then of course, Filter 9, which I just threw across the room. So, good looking pipe, nice grain. Let's go forward with this. Like I said, drew real smooth. I love the shape. Um, let me draw a little bit harder and see what kind of mess this makes. Nothing. Uh, I've already packed some Blood Red Moon, the cult in there. And I'm getting a lot of that cherry flavor. I, cult Blood Red Moon is something unique. I, I think the reason I like it is because it reminds me of a cherry flavor that my grandfather used to smoke. But I hate cherries. I can't stand them. I hate cherry candy. I don't like cherries on sundaes or cakes or anything. But I love this stuff. So not really sure why, but Colt Blood Red Moon is good stuff. I'll do a whole review on that at some point. Let's go ahead and light this thing up and see how it smokes. Smokes. Holy smokes. Okay, I'll tell you right off the bat. I had smoked a bowl before and it still had to filter in. Well, I chunked it. And you get a ton of flavor without that filter. With the filter in it, it didn't really affect the draw. It drew about the same. Well, I guess it has to affect the draw a little bit. There's something in the way of the air, in the airway. It didn't really affect it too bad. Like, I still got good flavor. A decent amount of smoke. This is just it's really good it's it's a nice smooth smoking pipe 
I almost have to let up on my draw a little bit, to be honest with you. Still, like I said, you see all that smoke? That's me barely drawing through. It is, it's a great smoking pipe. As far as the bowl size, it's got a pretty good sized bowl. You could probably get a good, you know, 45 minute smoke to an hour out of this. Of course, in my hands, it looks tiny. But could really enjoy this. A friend of mine, John, y'all seen him in a video before, he turned me on to the BCs. Uh, I turned him on to pipe smoking, and then he gets, goes and gets a BC, and then he turns me on to PCs. Not PCs, BCs. I'm not PC at all. But I like them. It, it's a good... It's a good smoking pipe. I've never had a, a French pipe. I've never had any that had that shape, but I like this shape. I'm gonna get another BC. This one will be going up on eBay soon. Not because it's bad, I, I, I like it. I'm gonna get another one, but more because my pipe acquisition disorder, PAD, has gotten a little out of hand and I need to uh, thin the herd. So please prevent me from buying this from myself on eBay. But yeah, the BC Reggie Filter 9 is a really cool pipe, really neat smoking. I, I've, I've whittled it down to where I'm gonna keep 13 pipes. And this was a close one and it didn't make the cut. So, sorry BC. I'm, I'll be buying another BC once I move around some other pipes or get sick of them. So until next time, <clears throat> keep your pipe loaded, slow down, philosophize, and enjoy life. See you guys.